Coach C, is baseball America's favorite sport? If there's any tackling involved, I'm glad it's Vince and not me. I've always wanted to play some all-American football. Welcome back to Game Changers on KSKP. Dude, you're late again, and you're not even wearing the right jersey. I told you to wear the best team's jersey. Yeah, I did. Uh, maybe. If you're the best at losing. If you're the best at losing. Well, I'm proud of you for at least getting the sport right. Of course. The Chiefs are like my favorite soccer team. Coach C, will you please tell this rice -a jabroni what American football is? Absolutely. Coach C here with a super quick breakdown on American football. In the late 19th century, a man named Walter Camp, now credited as the father of American football, helped shape the game into the sport we know today. He coached at both Yale and Stanford throughout his career. But where was the first real football game? Well, American football came to be after two United States universities, Rutgers and Princeton, played what is widely considered to be the first college football game on November 6, 1869. The game they played that day had evolved from two other sports, English rugby and soccer. American football went on to become the United States' leading spectator sport. Back to you, Jabroni. Uh, thanks, Coach C. What a great look into our history of America's favorite sport, tennis. Were you even listening, Jabroni? I'm kind of liking this Jabroni. What is it, Italian? It's beautiful. Sure thing, Macaroni Jabroni. And uh, America's favorite sport is football, not tennis. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure America's favorite sport is baseball. Nope. Coach C pretty much just said it was football. Nuh-uh. Can we get a quick fact check on that? Coach C, is baseball America's favorite sport? No. See how you like them apples, pepperoni jabroni? Oh, whatever. I still think it's baseball. Either way, we've got a fun packed show for you folks today. So let's check in with our jabroni out on the field. No, no. The only jabroni here is you. Over to you, Hannah. Thanks, Aiden and Gage. It is a windy day out here, but I am here with Colton and Millie to ask them a few questions. Well, guys, what do you think? Is football really America's favorite sport? I mean, obviously, have you seen the stadiums on game day? Look at that attendance, too much. I love football. All right, here's another question for you. Which NFL team has been your favorite to watch this past year? Denver Broncos, of course. I've been born and raised a Rams fan since St. Louis to LA. Now, we have some young athletes who watch our shows. So, any advice for a kid that may want to play football one day? A uh, quote that's helped me throughout my career is, uh, winners are not people who never fell, but people who never quit. So, keep chasing your dreams. If you want to be the best, you got to work like the best. You know, be the first one at practice, last one to leave. That's some great advice. Kids, you guys are going to write that down. So, I think it's time for us to watch you guys practice. Is that okay? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Vince, what are you doing here? I've always wanted to play some All-American football. Oh, okay. So I figured now is my chance. Can I practice with you guys? What do you guys say? Can Vince practice with you guys? Yeah, yeah sure. All right, get on out there. Well, let's just say if there's any tackling involved, I'm glad it's Vince and not me. Well, how was it? Well, if I wasn't so gassy from all those beans I ate last night, probably could have gone better. But if I started playing when I was a kid, I probably could have gone pro. <laughs> sure, maybe for the Raiders. <laughs> but it's a lot harder than it looks, and it's a lot of teamwork. Well, you heard it here, kids. Teamwork really does make the dream work, and working together is vital for the team's success. Back to you, Aiden and Gage. Oh, Vince. Sorry. She's uh, a loser, man. Ain't that the truth, Hannah? Ain't what the truth? That Vince's gas stinks? 
No, that working together is vital to a team's success. Oh, yep, and any real game changer knows the importance of teamwork. They sure do. Just like they say, there ain't no I in team. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, but there is a me in, get it? Team, me, me. Sure. Up next, we have a closer look at a legendary group of game changers in the Bible. We also have a special guest live on the field ready to walk us through this true story. Take it away, ref. Thanks, guys. Now, did you know that teams were actually God's idea? That's right. There was a time in the Bible when all of the people who believed in Jesus worked together and became part of God's team, also known as the early church. And just like how all the professional athletes you love spend hours studying and learning their playbooks, the early church spent time learning God's word. The Bible said that this group of game changers spent a lot of time together. They would eat meals together and pray together every day. Have you ever been a part of a team who spent time together every day? It'd be like being attached at the hip. Let me show you what I mean. That's right, Ref. And right now, I have some kids here to show just that. All right, now that you guys are joined at the hip, are you ready to see how fast you can do these everyday tasks? Yeah! All right, well, let's get started in three, two, one, go! Good job, yeah. you guys did it all together. Nice. Okay, now let's get back to these game changers in the Bible. You see, these people on God's team knew that it was important to get together and celebrate everything that God was doing in their lives. And these game changers on God's team knew God wanted them to go out and help people as they spread the good news of Jesus. And they did exactly that. They shared all that they had with others, and they told as many people as they could about Jesus and just how much he loves them. Kind of like this. Okay, now for this challenge, these kids are gonna tell as many people as they can this key phrase. It's, Jesus loves you. You think you guys can handle that? Yeah. yeah. All right, but here's the catch. You are only gonna have 30 seconds to tell as many people as you can, all right? And your time starts in three, two, one, Go! Nice job, you guys were pretty fast. But you know what, I think if we added up our totals together as a team, we can make an even bigger impact. What do you guys say? Yeah, yeah. I think so. All right, can we get the totals on the screen? Look at that, you guys were able to tell so many more people about Jesus when we worked together. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah! Woo! And that's what teamwork's all about. Back to you, Ref. Like we just saw with the kids, the game changers from the early church couldn't have done nearly as much on their own. In Ecclesiastes, there's a Bible verse that goes like this. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. These game changers knew they could accomplish more of God's work by working together. The early church was the perfect example of how life is better on a team, especially on God's team. Because on God's team, players work together. What? 
Oh, I was just thinking how it's like Rocket League. What's like Rocket League? Working together as a team. So is football or any other sports team for that matter. Yeah, I guess you're right. What? I was just thinking how it's like us. Huh? Working together in this job, it's a lot easier when we work together. You're right about that, Jabroni. You do make this job pretty fun. Word. Word. Take it away, Coach C. Don't the people of the early church sound like the most amazing group of game changers? In fact, the Bible says, and all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. You know what these game changers make me think of? One of my favorite sayings, teamwork makes the dream work. It's hard to get a lot done on our own. We saw that with the kids racing to spread the good news of Jesus earlier. That's why God made sure we know we're on His team. And on God's team, players work together. So we've really got to be team players. But what does being a team player actually look like? Well, a good team player always has their teammates back. A good team player will recognize the accomplishments of their teammates and good team player will ask for help when they need it. But the best kind of team player, a game-changing team player, will always remember this. On God's team, players work together.